Stop while he's got to recover. Who? What? Yeah, I have. I found out I have I, trigger trigger finger in my thumb. Oh no. And maybe Becky can chime in because Becky was off for a while with injuries. Yeah. I'm sorry, Eric. That's horrible. Uh, yeah, it's not not fun. I'm How sorry long? they're gonna. I'm sorry they're gonna take the thumb off, Eric. It's that's. Uh... <laughs> well, as okay, I was telling Eric, I mean, we all plan to retire and play until we die. That's the plan. That's, that's the plan. The plan. That's really it. Yes. What's going on, Eric? I have a a tendon that's um, getting abraded by I think it's a bone spur or something Ooh. right here in my thumb. Uh huh. And it's causing pain throughout my whole thumb, and it's it's exacerbated by my right. hand position yeah. playing. Yeah, it's a good thing they figured out what it was. Then you didn't keep doing damage. Yeah, yeah. Did they say how long your like recovery before you can use it again? He said like three three to four weeks. Okay. Which yeah. Well, oh, that's okay. pain, but that's doable, Eric. And you know, you yeah. you know, it sounds like there's a good good possibility you'll you know uh, conquer it, and better yeah. that you, that you fix it and have Take many years left to play than you know than at risk it getting messed up more. Right. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Maybe that'll be the fix for good. Yeah. Will be nice. Hope so. Hope so. What are you laughing about, Joe? Yeah. Uh, I was just, um, I was mimicking Mark's position since I'm, we've got the exact same shirt on. He was standing there and I was just kind of wanting to see how long it would take him to notice that I was like mirroring everything he did. I have a student that does that to me. Um, uh -huh. That's funny. And ladies, we have to come up with a plan to combat the plaids. Look at your screens. I know. Only Tim didn't get the memo right. today. We have to come up with a, a plan to, you know. Tim, go change. I don't have any plaid. I just have stripes. Well, I do have plaid, but unfortunately, I got a little fatter and they don't fit very well. So. Well, we could, but we could have another style. You okay. guys could do stripes. Yeah, we could do the stripes. Yeah, stripes. Okay, that's choice. Every woman knows stripes are a good choice. Floral <laughs> pattern. We could all do turtlenecks. We could all do tank tops. We could all do who knows. The sky's the limit. Sure. We could be leprechauns. We could. I think we all need to wear green next week because I wore it this week because you know. Yeah. Just because. Mm -hmm. What day is St. Patrick's Day on? Welcome back. Hey. It's on uh, Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. Yep. We were saying if there is, if anybody's interested and the weather is decent, we might meet in a park and play some tunes. But I don't know yet how Wednesday looks. Uh, I don't either. It would be, you're talking about West Park? It could be, yeah. That's just kind of where we have ended up meeting. But were you guys were you guys able to get together this week, Ashley? No, not really. It kind of just passed really quickly, and I was preoccupied with work and didn't really happen. Yeah, it's supposed to be like in fifties next week. It's kind of cool, but oh, that's cool. You gotta I have it about last, be about at least sixty. Last St. Patty's Day was pretty chilly, Tristan invited me over to his house. He's just three blocks away for those of you who don't know. And we played mm -hmm. some tunes on his front sidewalk outdoors. And by the time I was done, my hands were frozen. <laughs> yeah, 60 <laughs> degrees is about minimum. You know, 65 is- I think it was 45 nice. that day. Oh yeah, that's too cold. Yeah, for me. <clears throat> I think Evan and Suzanne were on their porch playing that day too, like- Yeah. Hours. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was really nice. They're made of tough stuff. 
Yesterday was the good day. It got up, you know, yeah. 70. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it'll come back. Yep. Yep. So I, I didn't have uh, a plan to teach anything. I don't know if anybody else has got well, anything I lined up. I offered to teach a tune. I know um, uh, Mark and Joan know it. And, Probably Tim. Tim had one he might teach too, right? Maybe Tim, you could. What were you going to teach? Puddles. What? Puddles. Go for it. What is it again? I there was interference. Tuttle. Can't. You can't hear. Oh, Tuttles. Tuttles. Tuttle. It gets cut off. The sound gets cut off. That's right. Tuttles. Tuttles is good. I say do it. <laughs> Tune you taught last week. Okay. Uh, thanks for sending that out, Ashley. I finally sent Ashley the dots yesterday. I hope everybody get. If somebody isn't getting the emails, let me know because I don't think I got it. I just sent it like an hour ago, maybe. Oh. They're on the Google Drive. Yeah. If it's Donna, if you didn't get it, let me know. I'll just talk to you. And Joe, I still haven't been able to add your email. It keeps bouncing back at me. You sent it via email? Yes. Okay. From I, did, I didn't email. get it, Ashley. You didn't? Okay. I'm going to double check that I sent this. I just it. got your initial email, and then that's been it, just so you know. It's Thank weird. You. I went to my Google account. You're saying that it's saying like it, like I. I can't be added or I've got it set so that I won't be added to mailing lists? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's your job. I've never seen that before, but it says that this user is not able to be added on here. I got I was... it, Ashley. I have it. I got it. Okay. okay. Susan, would you just mind putting your email in the chat? And I'll make sure you're on there. By the way, when I, um, I when I sent the tune out, it's under it's not under bag of spuds, it's under little bag of spuds, because two of the re three recordings that I that I have um, call it little bag of spuds, and I thought uh, a good way to differentiate a little bit from the other bag of spuds that some of us know that has completely different tune. Anyway, you ready for Tuttles? So it's a... Um, No, not Mixolydian. It's in D Dorian because it's minor. Um, all right, so it goes like I'll play it through a couple of times and we'll break it down. Sorry. Also, this is pretty much the way that Bobby Casey plays it. Um, I don't know if it's precisely. Um, Joe, I want to talk to you later about that um, tune. Uh, what's the tune slowdown thing that you use? It's called any tune. And do you use that on your uh, computer or your phone? I use it on my laptop. Okay. I, um, you know, I recently decided to try Apple Music, which is great in a lot of ways and really horrible in some other ways. It's like not allowing me to listen to some of my own, like when I've gotten, like I can't listen to the CDs that I've purchased in the last couple of months because I can't, I can no longer, I can add up to a playlist on my computer in, in Apple Music, but I can't, my phone will only 
I can't like download new stuff, physical CDs, hmm. have it play, and, and then I can't drag it into my um, Amazon uh, Amazing Slowdown or. And I saw people commenting. I was looking at the app uh, AnyTune today on my computer, but one of the things they mentioned is that. Um, it wasn't working with any Apple streaming services as of yet. So, anyway. mm. so here's Tuttle's, more or less. So I can't say precisely that it's Bobby Casey's version because I couldn't slow Bobby Casey version Bobby Casey's version down enough to verify it. But it's pretty much like this. with coming back down that. Anyway, kind of goes like that. So if we break it down, I might teach it back to myself. <laughs> You ready? So I'll just, the first little bit, just find that A, D, E, F natural. If you got that, it goes. So real slowly, I'll put all that together, but. Excuse me. So I'm gonna play that like four or five times in a row without stopping at a real slow pace.
So anyway, that's what it sounds like. So. Is everybody following that? Wave your hand if you need me to break it down. Okay. And the second half, or the answer phrases. So, like this. So it's arpeggio. F A D. So we'll break that down. So D, B, C. So it climbs back down like that. That's the part I was forgetting. C-A-G-E. So that's C, or excuse me, F, F, D, E, C. Back down to the A. So s s real slowly, I'm going to put that second whole phrase together. How's that one coming along? Okay, so I'm going to put the two phrases together slowly, starting at the beginning. first time through was correct. Let's try that again. And I'm going to repeat those two phrases a few times at a slow steady pace. Ready? Go. Sorry. 
it then it goes, um, I think it repeats, the next section repeats. So that's the same as the third piece is the same as the first piece. So I'm not going to teach it to you again. And the fourth piece that completes that thought is. So that's a pickup. That's the downbeat. Let me just, I have to get a little speed to remember exactly how it goes. this much So 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 that last fragment we just learned. So this is the new piece. takes us back and then in the repeat that last measure is is going to be different but let's do those those four phrases st slow and steady That's on the repeat. Instead of, instead of the, the second time through um, the, on the repeat of the eight, it goes. Instead of. So the last phrase on the repeat would be starting, start, the full phrase would be.
So let's, let's try to do the A section with the repeat one time real slow. So I didn't even get it through it without making a mistake. So, <laughs> um, so that's, I want to now go through that a few times without stopping. Um, but do I need to break it down for anybody before we do that? Anything that you're having trouble with? Tim, it, it just occurred to me, um, I, I wasn't paying attention. Could you aim your uh, camera down a little bit? Oh, so geez. Here? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I no, it's my fault for That's not right. remembering. No worries. Okay, so let's, we're going to do the A section with repeat. We're going to go through it a few times. Ready? And... from the top. I think I messed something there. <laughs> My brain is getting to be mush with all these repeats. Um, but we'll come back to it at the end. Uh, people starting to get the flow of the, the phrasing and stuff. It'll sink in later if you, okay. So let's move on to the B section. Um, you can just start on the downbeat or you can do a little pickup on, on the A. Um, sorry, I need to play it fast once for my brain to kick in. OK, 
Okay, so one thing, I don't know if you may have picked up from there, the endings are kind of reversed. Um, so the first time around in the B section, we're going to go. And then the, um, the repeat is. So that, you know, those are reversed from there where we did in the A section. That propels you back into the A there. Um, those descending thirds. Um, okay. Whether, again, you can do that pick up or just start on downbeat. You got that? So down to C down to the G. So in rhythm, it goes like this. And slower. two measures together slowly. So slowly like this. Let's just work on that. have that okay and then kind of uh, partly repeats but there it, instead instead of um, it goes like so these are the th third and fourth me um, measures starts out the same but goes somewhere different so those if you put those four measures together slowly you'd get this so let's I'm gonna try to play that slower and just cycle through it a few times excuse me
does that come in there? Wave at me if, if you want me to go over it some more. Okay, so then the next two measures, I think, repeat. Yeah. And then the two measures after that, we already learned because it's the end of the A section. So we know all the pieces for the B section now. It's just that some of them are shuffled around a little differently. So again, the ending, the, the first time through the B section does that. And then the second time is. So the opposite of the, the endings of the um, in the A section. So I'm going to go through the whole B section, including repeats, slowly a couple of times. OK. Excuse me. send us back to the A. So I'll try to do it slower. It's just hard to get momentum going too slow. But anyway, let's go through the B section with repeats again. Ready? And So how's that B section coming along? Do you you want to keep going over the B for a while or do you want to do the the whole thing slowly through with A and B with repeats? I would like a little more practice on the B. Just okay. putting that in, you know, patching the end, the final parts as sure. you stated. Absolutely. So let's go through the B uh, at least a couple more times with the repeat. Ready? Excuse me.
Let's do it again. Ready? For those of you that were here last week, you know, we talked about playing with that, so that the swing with the emphasis on the, the backbeat. Um, this would be the same thing. One of the um, things I'm going to send around uh, in terms of recordings is, um, well, there's the one with Cormac Begley and um, Jack Talty that we sent around with a little bag of spuds and they play with that that feel and um, Kevin Burke does that in spades and he's he's re played this on it's like out of five albums of Kevin Burke I saw him do it in Chelsea or wherever that is uh, a year or two ago and he just plays with so much swing um, or that that feel of the you know the um, the offbeat, so it's like this. It's not mechanical, it's not like. It's not. sound so much you get that feeling so much better on a fiddle where it's just it's so much smoother and you, you know you really feel that pulse um, anyway um, so just think think about that a little bit even if we're playing it at a, a more glacial speed so let's um, are we okay to do the a and B's together slowly now okay so at a very moderate pace, we're going to do the A and the B with their repeats, go through it a few times, and I'll try to play with a little bit of that pulse, even though it'll be slow. Sorry, I'm thinking about 20 things at once. Um, let me start over. And Tim, you're going a little bit faster than mine. That too. Yep. Too fast and yep. too sloppy. Okay.
point down. I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to try to remember to go slower. Ready? So I know I speed up and then I slow down. <laughs> you did great. That's a that's a more involved tune and you, you got us through it. It's you know, especially that A section, there's like very few spaces. So I don't see any flute players. If there were any flute players out there, they'd probably be like passed out on the floor right now. <laughs> you have to find your spots. I even, I find cheat points where I drop out notes here and there, per, just partly because it sounds good to not always play every note, but um, it's, you know, for articulation, it's nice to vary it like, um, you don't have to go. That, that A section, I think, needs moments here and there of let your... Yeah. Take a breath. We can throw in some three-note runs in a couple of places, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, or, you know, you could do a... 
you know, some kind of a something or other ornament on that note there. Anyway, that's Tuttles. Thanks. Thank and you. Great tune. Yeah, that's great stuff, Tim. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Tim, can we uh, review the second tune? Um, little bag of spuds. So if you, um, that's, you know, so it goes from that D, um, D Dorian into the D major there. Anyway, it goes. folks i had that mic on and i have my five strings and I, if i look at it my brain goes if i don't look at my five strings i'm fine so not only was i doing that i was you were hearing it <laughs> not much my apologies good <laughs> I, every once in a while i hear a little something yeah it was just one of those things i thought when i look at it it goes and when i look at it if i don't think about it i start on the lowest string then i'm just off and then and the more I think about it, the harder it is. So, but I'm adjusting and I did bring it. This is my new one from Brian. It's just uh, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. But uh, at any rate, like I said, my apologies. <laughs> that's gorgeous. You'll have to put a quarter into the tip jar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep, we'll be wanting to uh, swap fiddles with you at some point just to <laughs> test it out. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to. It is it is really amazing. I had to really almost beg and plead him to make the five string, but he's making really? another one now. <laughs> he had made one, I think it was like number 21 or something. Oh. And this is, I think, 179. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. And it and but somebody else wants one now, so he's getting he's got two more coats to go. I saw him last night, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead. My fiddle is number one twenty three. Is it? Yeah, it was. I bought it used at all. That's great. So, do you know Brian very well? Not really well. I mean, when we see each other, we say we right. You know, exchange greetings, and he knows that I own one of his fiddles. Right. We're not good friends. Yeah, his mom died last week. That's why I wondered. So, oh. so he's got family in and. So they're sorting and sorting and sorting and sorting. <laughs> but um, but she was she was almost ninety five. She would have been ninety five in a couple of days. So she did well. She lived by herself. She doesn't live very far from me. So I would see them and watch them. Oh, so wow. But anyway. Okay. Oh. So no need for to letting us know. Just for letting you know. Yeah. yeah. It was. I'm gonna know. sign off. 
Good night, everybody. Good night, night, Donna. Good night, Donna. You know, in a in a way I can't quite articulate, I guess, is uh, that little bag of spuds reminds me of Walter Salmon's grandmother. Uh, <clears throat> and they're both kind of simple D tunes with a lot of charm to them. I'm going to try to put those together, maybe. I was just playing Walter Salmon's earlier this week, but I can't bring it to mind right at the moment. Well, that's a new one to me, so I'm going to write that down. Has anyone tried to tape um, using like upbeat music app or anything? I did that today. I'm going to, I'm going to cut myself short here because I, uh, for the first time and I put in, I can't use this computer. So I used another one to make a long story short. I had lots of legs for stands and lots of chords. And just after I put my violin down coming over, I caught my feet, I think I broke a little toe. And then I thought, darn it, I wanted to, to try it out and do the tenor banjo with it. So I kind of got myself together and did that. But I thought, I think I'm gonna go put my foot up again. <laughs> oh, no. It's one of those things that I thought, oh, darn it, but I'm gonna come play, so thank you. And I'll see you next week. And it should have uh, not be feeling kind of funky, like I think I should go take care of it. <laughs> but thank you, it's so nice to see everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us, Susan. Yeah. Welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. My name is Paul, by the way. I'm new. Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, Paul. My son is Paul. One of my sons is Paul. <laughs> good man. Paul, where are you from? I'm in Howell right now, but I'm by oh. way of Dallas. <clears throat> so I'm new up here. Great. Oh, welcome. Oh, welcome. I'm from East Lansing. This is my second time, so I look forward okay. to seeing you next time, I hope. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. So, so Paul, did were you playing sessions in, in Dallas, or? Uh, were you a, a, little, a little bit, not very much. I'm still pretty new on the mandolin. Okay. I typically play guitar. Ah, I see. Cool. Yeah, there's a big session scene down there in Dallas. Big Irish. Yeah, yeah I w was wondering, do you know, uh, did you ever meet Patrick Gavin down there? Yes. Is he a fiddle player? Uh, I think he, he plays some fiddle. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think I've met that guy. Yeah. He's, origi he's originally from here in Detroit. Oh. He lives down there now. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Well, good. It's good to find an Irish uh, community up here. They're actually doing Zoom Zoom meetings too. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as soon as we can, we're going to get back to live session. So good. Uh, get your vaccine, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think. So, I are you uh, one on Thursday? So. I got both of mine. Oh, your last one. Yes. Congratulations. Good. My first one on Saturday. It's oh, not an appointment, so yay. Yeah, I'm glad. I had my second one Monday. All right. Woo. I get my yeah. second I get my second one on St. Patrick's Day. Oh Woo. nice. <laughs> I'm trying to move mine to that day, so we'll see, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But I might mine is technically Thursday, like right before the session. <laughs> so I may or may not be back in time, but yeah. I'll be here sometime. Well, I've got mine two Thursdays from now. Yay. My second one. Are you guys doing a St. Patrick's Day session? We were, I mean, we have it Thursday already. Do we want to do it or another Wednesday thing or? <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff planned sessions. There's probably, yeah, there's probably a lot of other stuff. Say, one yeah. in Ireland and one in Windsor. We can just make Thursday our St. Patrick's night. I think so. Yeah, that'll be good. Wear green. Night after. I was thinking sure. I might order like um, the, 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 what do you call it? Pints to go from Connors or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that sounds excellent. Yeah. Get one for me. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, are, are you, uh, were you embarrassed to be a member of the plaid boys? Um, it just gets, it's really warm, a little overheated. 
when it's 60 degrees in March. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I was thinking about cracking the window. Must be nice living down south. Yeah. Yeah. As long as, long as it's not the Proud Boys, you can wear whatever you want. The plaid Boys. Plaid Boys. Yeah. Plaid Boys. What you going to do? <laughs> So, we ready to uh, get into the the slow session? Okay. Uh, let's see. James looks like James. Oh, drop. What happened to James? Um, he wrote in the chat. Yeah. 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 Did that. Let's see. Um, who's next? Uh, so Paul, I don't know if you if you have a, any tunes that you wanted to play. I hate to put you at 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 the very beginning. Um, it's kind of in alphabetical order. So, oh oh, I can't hear you. Sorry. Let's see. You mind if I go another time? Certainly. That's yeah. That's absolutely. That's fine. Um, Becky, you got one? Do you want to play? Let's see if I can do it. Um, Rakes of Kildare. So, okay. <laughs> Becky, what? Becky, your sound's dropping out. Maybe could you back away from the the mic a little bit, just a few steps back? Try that. Oh, what's wrong with this? It and make sure original sound is uh, also on too. Yeah. I tried to check that and I can't find it. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Tell me, how is it? Going crazy on me here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Let's see if this is any better. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, maybe maybe just a little bit further back. Okay, is this better? that any better, the sound? I don't know. Uh, for me, anyhow, it cut out most of the second part. I wonder if, you're, if your mic, your, sense, your mic sensitivity is turned up too high. Yeah. So. Mic loudness? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, when you went to the higher register in the B part, that's uh -huh. when it would, it would cut out for us. Um. It's like the same as last week. No, I could see right here. It's same as last week and it keeps changing. 
Yeah. You have to, you almost have to reset it every, every time you get in. Okay. Unfortunately. No, it says I have to join. I have to. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Now it says I have to sign in. <laughs> so I can't change it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh, kitty. <laughs> now it's good. I hope I don't lose it. Let me get back. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play again. So until I get my husband to help me with it. Okay. Did you check if your um, your Zoom says automatically adjust volume? It says here automatically adjust uh, microphone volume. Yes. Is you it checked that? or unchecked? It's checked. It shouldn't be. Uncheck it. Okay. That might be what it is because it was thinking that you were being loud and. Let's see. Just... Let me talk. It's still um, <laughs> getting red. Um, 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 um. Let's see the second part. Um. Is it still going out? No. Nope. Sounds okay. That was better. So I have to. Yeah. Right. I'm going to put a note here. Automatically adjust microphone. Turn that off. Okay. What's the name of that one, Becky? Great. So Kildare. Oh, Joe, you're up next. I will play... Um, I'll play Timmy Clifford's and then um, the uh, the Gala Glass. Ah, I'll start over. A mulligan.
Nice joke. Did somebody teach that a few weeks ago? I did. Um, you did. Okay. And I, I send out the dots any second. <laughs> I was like, I think I have them somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should do a review on that one. Yeah, I like that too. Two great tunes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're up next. Okay. Mountain Road, slowly, trying to do that one. <laughs> slow so I remember what goes next. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Have you uh, heard the Caitlin Warblow's version of that on YouTube? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so she has a really rip-roaring version. Something to aspire to? Something <laughs> it is, yeah, okay. very much so. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Donna's gone. Uh, Fran, you're next. Uh, I think Sheep in the Boat, and then uh, I was trying to think of Scully, how Scully Casey's went last week. And I think, and now I know how it goes. So, Sheep in the Boat. Thank you. 
about the uh, fiddle screw ups. I only practiced it on flute. What's that second tune, Fran? Scully Casey's. Oh. Um, another name, but no, I don't know another name for it. It's a single. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of a cool tune. I learned a Scully Casey's recently from a Marla Fibbish album that she plays it with Martin Hayes. But she played uh, the one that goes up high. She she plays it in like E minor. Play it for a second. Uh, played Tim I think I first heard that on Jackie Daly's eavesdropper album there's a nice version on there that same tune hmm. yeah yeah that's nice uh, let's see who's up next um, Mark you got one for us well, I'm sure I do can't think of anything offhand at the moment. Uh, what time is it? 8.30? Um, take my mute off here. Uh, I guess maybe a uh, cup of tea and what's the, uh, um, was it Mist? No, mist, not Mist on the Mountain. What is that name? Oh, well. Yeah. What was that? Morning Dew. Oh, Morning Dew, right. I know there's an M in there somewhere. Thank you. 
Thanks, Mark. Tim, Tim, you're up next. I need to look at a piece of paper, a virtual piece of paper. I've got to deck out, you guys. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you stop by. Do it yeah. again. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, when we start playing back in Ann Arbor, that, that should be uh, not too far for you to come out and join us. Not bad. Yeah, I'll be there. That'd be great. Okay. Cool. See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Does anybody know Charlie Harris's reel? Can you play? Are you playing, Eric? I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Charlie Harris. Oh. And then. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, what's his name? The the bouncy architect down in Dublin <laughs> taught us. Um, he. He showed us how some people play that as a polka, and he kept going back and forth between the polka and verse. And, and so I looked at it right before we started, and I have a version of Kevin Burke playing it as a, it says, Charlie Harris is real as a polka. Yeah. And so the, the real is.
folk rhythm. Kind of, it sounded nice as a polka. I even have to try it a little more to get. I know it is a polka <laughs> too, but yeah? I don't know from where or what it was called. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's fun. Anyway, that's it. Cool. Okay. Let's see, uh, it was going to be Paul's turn next. Uh, now it's Becky's turn. No. I don't have another one. Okay. Uh, Joe, you're up next. Okay. Um, see if I can try to do um, the uh, the old favorite. sits so easily. I mean, it's a simple tune anyway, but it's, it's just kind of like falls under the fingers. It sounds so nice on there. Yeah. I love it. Uh, Ashley. Is Zuki Lake a real place? What's that? Is Zuki Lake a real place? It is. Yes. It's in out by, uh, is it out by Howell? It's uh, Pinckney. It's near Pinckney. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, Joe, any uh, any idea if they're going to do uh, uh, beach stock this year? I do believe they are. It's on the schedule. Yeah. Real are you, or... Are you coming up for it? Um, it'll... Yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, if I can get... Uh, vaccinated and all the you know and there aren't you'll any be vaccinated. you'll be vaccinated variants like going crazy and stuff like that you know but uh, I would like to yeah what is that it's a uh, it's like a, a music festival amateur anywhere from amateur to um, some really amazingly accomplished people that show up did a, did a friend, uh, friend actually Tim is probably knows those folks longer than I have, 
uh, Gail and Randy, but uh, <laughs> just they live out like in it's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of advertising people from the from the local area for the most part. But there's you know kind of wider Randy like Randy the guy who organizes it. His wife is in advertising, but he's I don't think he's ever you know he's a pharmacist pharmacist dentist. He's got two doctors. Can get you the vaccine. That's why he's doctor doctor. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, um, it's out in Heartland. If they schedule it, I'll forward it. Any, everybody's welcome. Like if you wanted to come and um, they just rent out like a picnic area and uh, people bring in amps and stuff. And it's uh, like I said, everything from people that are just learning ukulele to people that have been kind of got several albums out and gig regularly you know, so very wide ranging mm. level of tech. very eclectic yes <laughs> well, Sounds if, fun, though. if you guys it's are hard to be imagine of things like happening again it's weird yeah i think they decided i had a great time that Celtic this year. The Celtic Fest is happening apparently. Oh wow! Okay. They just decided today. Oh, it, it's and Celine. Yeah. Oh boy. What, what about, about the Dublin Celtic? Festival, Joe? I haven't heard. Um, I haven't been looking. I don't know. You know, it's like. Probably not. Well, they might. I. You know, I don't know. It's a big. I'll ask around, I mean, or I'll look on their website. You know, a lot of the people that come to the sessions play in in there, so they would probably know. Could be a big super spreader event for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can. <laughs> We're still trying to figure it all out, aren't we? Yeah. I know uh, Wheatland is considering having their festival this year. Mm. That's a that's a big one in September. Well, when they change the settings, they say you have to check in. You have to give your passport. Yeah. yeah. Thing is, they say that <laughs> until like everybody on the planet has has been vaccinated, especially in more third world areas, that there's like Dublin, Ohio. Like Dublin, Ohio. <laughs> That um, you know, there's chances of um, you know various new strains coming out that may or may not be covered by your vaccines. Right. It's one thing to get your own vaccine. It's another thing to get all the you know 70% of American adults, and then it's like, how do you get the rest of the world covered? You know. Yeah. So I don't that's know about any music festivals soon. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. As far as Beachstock, Randy was saying that uh, they might just try to do it virtual again this year. You know, just, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just the new reality is that big gatherings and stuff like that are just going to be, you know, potentially lethal. You guys are a bunch of bummers, man. Stop it. <laughs> Be positive, optimistic. The attend at your own risk festival. Yeah. <laughs> Crowds were down this year. Eliza. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Down to the count, man. They're falling like lies. They could just have like that Monty Python cart that kind of goes through at the end of the festival. Bring out Bring your out dad. Your dad. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, you got All us. right. Music. Music. Uh, I forget where where did I left leave off. Who who? Actually, uh, I'm going to sign off. I got to go make a grocery run. So. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll see you guys all next week. Okay. okay. Good Where do you shop right? the groceries at this hour? Myers, man. There's nobody there. Oh, by the way, there's no S in Myers. Right. Why did you just say Myers? <laughs> Somebody pointed that out to me the other day about it's the Michigan thing, Fords. Exactly. I work really? at Fords. I go to Myers. 
Yeah, it's a it's a possessive ass. It's a possessive. It? That's what well, I'm going to say. People used to know Henry Ford, and they considered it a family thing, so they worked at Ford's. It was owned by Ford, and <laughs> Myers is owned by Frederick Meyer. Myers. It's right. Myers. Yeah, I don't know. That's a little goofier, but. <laughs> I'm I'm stretching. Yeah. Well, in Illinois, it's that they add the to everything. So it's the Kroger, the Meyer, the oh. this, everything. Yeah, Kroger's doesn't have an S either. The Kroger's is like the full thing. Yeah. I got into this conversation with this some somebody down here in Ohio. They're like, you know, it's the Ohio State. Right. It's is not. It? And I'm like, so is it the or is it the? And they're like, it's the Ohio State. And I'm like, oh, so it's the Ohio State. And they're like, yeah, it's not the Ohio State. And they're like, well, no, it is. And I'm like, yes, but is it the or the? They're like, it's the Ohio State. Like, but you just said it's the Ohio State. And they were just getting so frustrated. Ooh, who's that bird? <laughs> Good job messing with them, Joe. Good job. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> what a stupid thing. All right, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Oh, let's see. I don't know if I have any anything in me right now. No. Oh, uh, you can try the honeymoon reel. I might mess it up somewhere in there. Yeah. But I'll okay. try it. Fingers have had it. <laughs> That's a great tune. That sounded yeah. nice. Nice. Well it was very nice. I think I'm done for the evening, though. So I'll see you all yeah. next week. Sounds good, Ashley. I, I, um, I, I responded to your email, but I haven't heard back from Wynn okay. yet. Um, but I'll, I'll start pushing her. Hopefully. We'll get some soon. Yeah. I mean, we're still like two weeks away, but yeah. Yeah. We need to. I'm assuming she's not picking next Thursday then. Right. Yeah. That's out of the question now, I think. Yeah. So.
I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Sounds good. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, let's see. Next up is Fran. You got one? Yeah. Um, let's see. Forget what it's called. <laughs> Sorry. What's the first one, Fran? Uh, it might be Tom Ward's Downfall. Does that ring a bell, Joe? Yeah, that's what it is. And then we usually went into something else. It started like that, but then I get it mixed up with... Uh, Ambrose Maloney's. Michael Coleman played Tom Ward's Downfall with the reel of Mullen of Oh, okay. Well, we used to play. Yeah, we. what did we play it with? with um, uh, Mountain Road or something? The new policeman. Yeah, that's right. Those were from uh, that guy from Chicago. Um, yeah. yeah, McClellan. John McClellan. Is that this? Am I confusing it with something else? No, that's it. I think that's right. Yeah, I, it might might also be called the Tinker's Stick, which would be on the uh, Comb Your Hair and Curl It album. Uh, yeah, I I think I got the dots a few months ago, but never thoroughly learned it. Yeah. I think it's your turn, Tim, if you got, if you want to keep doing that or you got something else. 
I could. How about um, made of fecal? And I don't mean made of shit. Um, the made of fecal and uh, sporting Nell, I think it is. I tried going into the Kane sisters version at the end. Anyway, sorry for the sloppiness. I hadn't played those in a while. You did good. Those are good. Yeah, you did well. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> I, I used can... to have. You're gonna hit it. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. And it was nice seeing y'all. I think it's time. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time. See you guys too. All right. Yeah. What I was going to say, Tim, real quick, is the, uh, I think if you look online, and maybe you have a picture of it, you were there, I think, in Fecal, on Pepper's Bar, they've got the made of Fecal painted on the outside of the, of the, of yeah. the building. Yeah. I think that's where I, I think Judy taught it to us a long time ago, but then I kind of learned the, I figured I might as well learn the one that's painted on the side of Pepper's Bar. Oh, the music is? Yeah. I learned it from... 
you know, probably Fran and Mark and maybe Eric or something. Yeah, good tune. But I learned right. um, the Kane Sisters B section of um, Sporting Nell, and then Fran told me that that's not the one that most people are going to know. So I learned both. But anyway, they're both yeah, good. Cool. Good yeah. tunes. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. yeah. Good night, guys. Bye. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, happy happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. Yes. Good night, Joe. Good night, Becky. See you guys later.